Tall Joe here. Um, I'm at the uh, Lindwell Gorge Wilderness. This is Wolf Pit Road and I'm looking at doing the Grand Loop. I'm gonna go clockwise, um, head down to the river from here and then hike up the Lindwell Gorge Trail on the west side all the way up to the falls, cross back over and then head down on the east rim. Um, I don't think it's rained here for at least a month, maybe longer. Um, and there's also some forest fires raging in the area. Uh, nothing here to worry about per se, but there is smoke um, blowing in. So I'm right there, that white line is that road, and it looks like we're going to head up a few feet, not too far, and then take a left. Across the river a little ways back, and I've been on the MST, about a mile maybe. If only the whole trail could be this easy. Made it down to the Lindwell Gorge Trail and I'm just kind of hiking along. This is fairly easy hike in here and it just follows the river. On the way up, got a gorgeous view of Short Off and it's just a pretty day all together out here. Just walking through a rhododendron tunnel. I love these things. Made it to camp. Uh, this is on the LGT just north of where Pension comes down. Maybe a quarter mile past that. Um, got the river behind me and pretty wide open flat area. So somebody's already cleared this out. There's no rocks or roots. So I'm going to use it. made some queso rice snacking on Fritos and it's a good day uh, pretty easy and hopefully tomorrow um, I, I think I can get to the falls uh, I'm not quite sure how many miles that is there is a super moon last night it was almost like I was sleeping underneath a uh, street light um, you can see the stars in the beginning of the night, but then the moon just, it kept me up for a while. I haven't seen anybody since the parking lot yesterday at noon. So the south uh, west side has had plenty of water. Um, a lot of the sources have been good. And I say that walking next to a river, some of you guys might think I'm crazy. You know, why don't you just get water down there to drink? Um, I had heard a long time ago that um, for whatever reason, maybe mercury, that you're not supposed to drink the river water. So I try to stay away from it. Well, it's 9.30, middle of November, and the sun finally peeked over the uh, east rim of the gorge.
thought we were going to find a troll in there. It's a long way down. This is what I call easy walking. Trail hadn't been like this all day. I love seeing all these little signs. It's like each one of them is another milestone for me. Behind schedule, if there is a schedule. But uh, I expect it to be at the falls by two at the latest. I think it's about three right now. My first sign of civilization since yesterday. I have no idea what that means, but the answer's on the back. Can you fish from here? I bet you could fish from here. Oh, this is where the city park or state park is. went to Duggar's Creek to grab four liters of water for the night. Not really sure where I'm going. It's about 4.30 so it'll be dark in an hour and a half. So this is Yorick's trail. Very hard to find. I don't know if anybody's been up here recently. If you're gonna go this way I'd recommend a GPS. Because this is kind of Bitchy. Well, last night got a little tough. I got off trail and started bushwhacking for, I don't know, a quarter of a mile. I was just getting frustrated. Um, these trails, they're labeled as social trails. Um, I don't know when the last time somebody walked through here was. Um, so it's pretty hard to find your way, especially trying to night hike it. But I ended up just uh, finding this little spur trail in between the Gulf Contour and the Gulf Ridge. Um, right there. And just parked it right in the middle of the trail. isn't so bad. During the day it's a hell of a lot easier, I'll tell you that. Some of these trails are worse than others, some are better than others, but feeling good right now. And yeah, I truly feel like I'm in the wilderness. I doubt I'll see anybody today for quite a few hours. So this is why I recommend a GPS. I got a can of beanie weenies showing me the way. But I easily could have just kept walking down there. That always amazes me when you see a giant tree growing out of a rock. I think this is Brushy Ridge. Feels like I just got onto a highway. Just a lot of room. You don't have to duck under branches or get smacked in the face. It's quite nice. However, about a hundred yards I'm taking another side trip.
just when you think you have it easy cruising along at three miles an hour then you start coming straight down a hill it's a big rock Made it to the top. That smoke is really starting to pour in. I'm gonna have lunch here real quick and then uh, head that way, but that mountain off in the distance, it's kind of flat on top. That's short off and my, my car is just past that. It's probably nine miles from here. I don't know if I wanna hang out in this smoke all night. And I'm back to bushwhacking. Coming down off of Hawksbill, headed towards uh, Spence Ridge. But that's pretty cool. This side of Hawksbill is awesome. I don't think a lot of people actually get to see it. Yeah, that's the right trail. There's a car in here to prove it. I'm coming up to the Spence Ridge parking lot, I kind of took a shortcut. Um, you go straight to the road. And then I'll jump on the MST there. I think I'm gonna try and push it and get out of here tonight. Yeah, that's probably why nobody is here. Because the smoke's rolling in. I'm officially on the Mountains to Sea Trail. Uh, I guess technically we're headed to the sea right now. That's Table Rock. Um, I skipped it because We've already been up there a few times. Uh, it's about four o'clock and I think it's eight miles from here. So I'm going up and over and around this and then down into, what is that, Chimney Gap, I think? And then that mountain there is short off. One mountain to go. So this is brought to you by Mio, the hiker's choice. When you want to climb up and down mountains as fast as possible, just give yourself a couple squirts. Mwah. I love this place and it's it's definitely my go-to and it's my go-to for a reason. It has my heart. I just can't get enough of the gorge. I love how on the west side you get down by the river so you get waterfalls and stuff like that and then on the east side you climb up on top of the ridge and the whole time you've got excellent views um, absolutely amazing love this place come check it out The Lenvo Gorge Grand Loop is complete. 